soon and very soon we shall meet the king. Soon and very soon we shall meet the king. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me to the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. David said in the book of Psalms, I was with young and now I'm old. I fit that category. Yet I've not seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Have you ever been felt like you was just a stranger? I thought of Brother Tosman as I was thinking about this. When he came to the United States, I bet he felt like he was a stranger. <laughs> I can only imagine. His is worse than mine. But one time in my life, I felt like I was a stranger. 1955, I got a letter from Uncle Sam, and it said, Greetings. We need you in the United Army, Air or United States Army. And I didn't want to go for more reasons than one. I had four brothers in World War II, and I told you before that did. And one of them didn't come back. Till we went to back, back a couple of years after the war had ended. And that discouraged me for going. But the biggest reason probably is that I had a new wife We've been married six years. We had maybe yeah. And I had a new baby, our older son Rodney, and he was let's see, just a little over a year old. He was less than a year. Less than a year old. And that was hard to do. Christine and my dad and the baby I believe. Drove me down here to Edwards service station. And I got on that bus. And I didn't know nobody. Nobody was starting right there. Went to Little Rock. Then went to Chaffee. That's where I did my basic training. I didn't know no one. I felt like a stranger. But I'm not going to be a stranger. I'm going to get over there.
Det ska jag inte göra. Och en gärta blässer dig. I have loved ones who are waiting for me. Through the years, through the tears, they have gone on before. And they wait at the gate until my life is over. I won't have to be a stranger when I get to that city. I have loved ones who are waiting for me. And as I got to be 92 years old, these things run through my mind. As you know, most of you do, if not all of you. I was a tenth child. You reckon my mother was happy? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she was, no her. She learned us all. But over the years, I went to attend, been to every one of their services, my ten brothers and sisters. We had a service for my brother that got killed when he came back. It had been to my mom and dad's funeral. And soon and very soon, I'm going to be joining the four weather pack. I had a couple of preacher friends at Harvard yesterday. I saw the real stock. He called too, but he, he's local. He don't count. <laughs> no, it's not so much time. Uh, but they asked me, did I wish I was 30 years old? I said, no, I really don't. I really don't want, you know, I'm ready to go. I know where I'm going. I don't know when I'm going, but I know where. And I'm ready to go. And I know soon and soon I'm going to see the king. Thank you for your time. God bless you.